Savior. It is absolutely too late to try to convince me that there is something or somebody else. Hallelujah. Because when I needed him, he was there and remained there. When I didn't even know where to look, he found me. When I didn't even know what to ask for, he answered the question. Lord on my side. Now let Israel say. Now let Emmanuel say. Now let the Belton say. Now let Rudy say. Now let Jesse say. Now let Richard say. Now let Warren say. Woo! Now let Chris say. Now let Mary say. If it had not been the Lord on my side, when the enemy came in like a flood to swallow me up. The Lord's Welcome to Greater Emmanuel in Finneytown, where Galvin Road turns into Bishop Paul Bowers Way. We are so happy that you've joined us today. I'm Pastor LaVelton Daniel, and this is my lovely wife, Patricia. All right, and we want to welcome you to Emmanuel Experience. Listen, gather your families together and join in with the worship. I declare we're going to have a wonderful time giving God the praise. Be blessed. From our hearts to yours. Cheryl for doing the daytime Bible class for me and um, tonight we're here in the sanctuary and glad that you are joining us. Let me see, is there anyone on yet? Um, I will try to, oh well, maybe I'll give it a minute to come up. Um, we're going to be talking about some things that are left over, praise the Lord Mother B, amen. Some things that I love over from, from Resurrection Sunday that we did not get a, an, an opportunity to cover. And uh, we're just excited about all of that. Tonight, uh, Elder Grievous is going to be giving us our prayer. And uh, blessed be the name of the Lord. He is worthy to be praised and adored. So I lift up holy hands with one accord. Hallelujah. Saying, blessed be the name. Blessed be the name, blessed be the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. All right. Uh, Elder Grievous, you can go ahead and uh, Elder Tubbs will get down here and I can do my little praise and worship a little later. Amen. You can just take it out. Yes, sir. Let us pray. Gracious and eternal Father God, whatsoever we do, Lord, in word or in deed, we do it all in the name of the Lord oh my, Jesus Christ. Yes. Lord, we pray tonight, Lord God, for clarity of speech, yes. clarity of thought. We ask you to give us ears to hear what the Holy Spirit is saying to the church tonight. Mm. We plead the blood of Jesus for our brothers and sisters who are on their way, Lord God. And Lord, we ask you, Lord God.
God to feed us till we want no more. Glory. We thirst and we hunger after your righteousness, Lord God. Lord, we came, Lord God, to receive instructions. Oh, Lord, how we may go out the highways and byways, Lord God, compel men to come into your safety, Lord. Lord, thank you for your blood. Thank you for the doors of the church being open tonight. Let soever who will come, let them come, Lord God, to receive, Lord God, the breath of life, Lord God, that you may give all men eternal life, Lord God. It's just a joy to be here, Lord God, and we give you all the praise and the glory in Jesus' mighty name. Jesus' Amen. mighty name. So we lift up holy hands with one accord. Singing, blessed be the name. Blessed be the name. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Blessed be the name of the Lord. That's not the key of F in the name of Jesus. <laughs> so we lift up holy hands with one accord. Singing, blessed be the name. Blessed be the name. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Healing in the name of the Lord. He is worthy to be praised and adored. So hands with one accord and together we're singing blessed be the name blessed be the name blessed be the name of the Lord there is Victory in the name of the Lord. Glory to God. He is worthy to be praised and adored. So we lift up woo, holy hands with one accord. And together we're singing, blessed be the name, blessed be the name, Woo. blessed be the name, there's victory in the name, glory, blessed be the name. I've received healing in that name. Blessed be the name. There is salvation in that name. Oh God, oh God, oh God. Blessed be the name of the Lord. My strong tower. Blessed be the name. Of the Lord, can't nobody do you like Jesus can. Oh, blessed be the name. Glory to the name. Blessed be the name. Woo, one more. I do love, I do love that name. 
blessed be the name of the Lord. Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. He's wonderful, he's worthy, and I adore him. I magnify him, I bless him, I lift him up, I glorify the name of Jesus. Magnify his name, he's worthy. Worthy, 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 worthy. Glory to God. None like him in all the earth. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Mm, mm, mm. Woo, woo. Glory to God. Glory to God. Glory to God. Hallelujah. God bless you. God bless you this evening. Hallelujah. Don't see who we have here. Glory to God. It's on there somewhere. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus. I guess I need to go out and come back in. Yeah. Thank you, Jesus. But I tell you, you cannot go wrong blessing the name of the Lord, y'all. Huh? No, there's no way that you can go wrong. There we are. Blessing the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. Glory. Waleen Moffitt. Oh, yes. Bless you, Sister Moffitt. Sister Finnegan. Sister Hanley. Uh, Justine Parker. Amen. Marie. Amen. Spencer. Glory to God. There's Linda Evangelist. Pastor Linda the boy. Amen. And Lady Trish is on, on the computer and in the house. All right. Praise the Lord. All right. She's She's doing double duty tonight. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. And Pastor Tammy, God bless all of you. And they're 20 something on. We thank God for you. Y'all some, some true saints. Y'all done brave the weather in this. Come on. Yes. Brave the weather. Some through the fire, some through the flood. Ah, oh, Lord. But all of us through the blood. Hallelujah. Amen, amen. Um, glory to God. Uh, let me try to get into this lesson because I'm feeling just a whole lot of praise right now. Glory to God. Does, any, any, does anybody have a, anybody want to say something? Uh, got a praise you want to give tonight? Amen. I, I don't mind. Uh, oh. Glory! Woo! Mm. Mm-hmm. Yes, sir. My God. Yes, sir. <laughs> yes. 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 Just want to say thank you. Hallelujah. Thank God. Amen. 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 Thank you, Elder Grievous. Hallelujah. I think that's the sentiments of most of our hearts. Amen. Just want to tell him thank you. Hallelujah. If it had not been the Lord who was on our side, now let Israel say, if it had not been the Lord who was on our side. Glory. Somebody was saying, I got a card from somebody, and they said, Pastor, the Lord has brought us uh, from a mighty long way. A mighty long way. Woo, God Almighty. Hallelujah. I was just, I had so many, I had so many flashbacks listening to Bishop Brooks on, on Monday night. I just, I just had flashback after flashback. I, I kept remembering, Lord, you, oh, you delivered me from that. Lord, I did that. Lord, I, oh my goodness, I did that, I did that. But God, who was rich in mercy, somebody said he looked beyond my fault. And guess what? He's still looking. He's still looking. Glory, 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 glory. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Oh, God, you're trying to push me. 
people just don't understand what can happen on a murky looking Wednesday night. You, you understand when it could just, mm, 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 mm. they don't understand how the God of glory can come down in our dampen wet souls hallelujah full with all oh, wait wait full over here over our head with stuff to deal with and then we come in his presence the bible says what there is the fullness of joy joy unspeakable and full of glory then you have the audacity to sit down in a place of peace and receive peace that passes all understanding. Woo, God, hallelujah. In other words, as we learned the other week, the authority that establishes chaos has been defeated and destroyed. Hallelujah. So the chaos that would be ruling right now, they don't have a foothold. Hallelujah. My, 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 my. We started off tonight, we started off tonight talking about uh, the name of the Lord and, um, we do know that it is a strong tower. Hallelujah. And the Bible says that the righteous run in and they are saved. They are safe. Glory to God. But I, I want to go back to the, the verse that I was looking at a little earlier today um, when Thomas uh, was uh, speaking to the Lord uh, uh, about the fact that, you know, he had made the declaration that he wasn't going to believe until he you know, put his hand in and all, et cetera, et cetera. And, and the amazing thing, I, I just have to add this, and that is um, uh, when, when uh, uh, since I've seen the character portrayed of Thomas uh, uh, on Chosen, it has given another perspective about him. Uh, it, it really has. Now, uh, I'm sure they wrote in whatever they thought was the case based on the historical evidence that they had. And I'm sure they've been doing that um, uh, in, 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 in the whole series to build plot and all of that. But what amazes me is that they have made the character of the young man playing Thomas the same kind of disposition that would reach him, that would cause him to come to the conclusion of what the Bible says. In other words, they made him involved but standoffish, made him very reasoning. He's a businessman and all of this. I, I, I tell you what has amazed me more than anything else. I'm, I'm going to tell you, and that is the inherent or the born in holiness that these people are trying to portray in their lives. They were serious about being uh, 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 called by, 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 by Yahweh, by God. They, they were serious about the lifestyle that they were supposed to lead. And I, I don't know if we have brought that in such a full existence because everything, their conversation was about them being true and dedicated to God. I, I found that just powerful. I found it powerful because what it's really saying to all of us is that even before, again, uh, 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 them knowing who Jesus was, and, and even before them understanding everything, even about the God that they were trying to save, they were trying to say this in their lives, be ye holy for I am holy. They were concerned that they did not transgress or go against the law of God. And, and the amazing thing again, they had to do it in the face of adversity. Everybody say in the face of adversity. You can advance in adversity if you know who you are and whose you are. Adversity probably in most cases, if not all, were, was allowed by God, if not designed by God, to cause us to advance in the first place. The difficulty that we have in adversity is our reaction to it. Glory to God. Our reaction determines on whether or not that becomes a stepping stone or a stumbling block. 
Hallelujah. The, the, the way whether or not we allow people to push our buttons or to do all of those things, that determines the benefit that we get or how long we stay in that situation. Hallelujah. Because when we do fail tests, and somebody say we do, praise the Lord. Hallelujah. We have. Amen. Then most times you don't get a free pass. You have to take it over. Glory to God. And, and, and this is a, a test of faith here that the disciples were having. Uh, and I was bringing this up because in the original study trying to get ready for the resurrection, I wanted you to understand about life. And here it is where the Lord is getting ready to breathe on them. Amen. Hallelujah. And I want to say a second time. Everybody say second time. Because in him does all life consist. There was nothing made that was made unless it was made by him. So we as human beings, we are already created in his image. They were already created by him. The life that they had, the life that you and I have, glory to God, is because God gave it in the first place. So the life that they already had was the life, was the pneuma, was the breath, was the spirit, was that essence of God that gave them life and mobility he, from the foundation of the world. Even though it was not breathed into Adam until he was created, it was still in God from the foundation of the world. We have to remember, whoa, God, that he, God does not come into a situation where he's trying to figure it out. In other words, something comes up in your life and my life. Now God has to go into his setting room and say, no, let me see what I'm going to do. No, 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 that's what we do. God does not have have to do that, Ralph. Hallelujah. Even though we think that he does, the way we respond to what he does, oh, y'all, that's good. I say even though we think that he does, the way we respond to what he does, he's not going through those changes. He is allowing us to go through those changes. But here he is, after all of this, after him being resurrected, and I'm, I'm going to come back to Thomas, <clears throat> but the end product of this whole thing was for him to get to them and say, receive ye the Holy Ghost. Glory to God. Hallelujah. He made a distinction. Tell somebody he made a distinction. He made it a distinctive act of receiving the Holy Ghost. Oh God. He had some things to go with it. He had breathing and he had language to go with it. Hallelujah. It was not just circumstance. It was intentional. Glory to God. He wanted them to know, oh God, that there would come a time, that there would come a time and he had already alluded to them that, you know, one day I'm going to be in you. One day this is going to be, one day it's going to make more sense to you. One day you don't understand it now. One day you're debating with me now and among each other but one day you're going to get what you need to do what you need to do. Hallelujah. Tell somebody, I got it, 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 I got it. Hallelujah. Now, if you want to get the person, say, I got him, I got him, I got him, I got him, I got him. Glory to God. So, so this is what he was working on. This is what he was revealing to them in his word. And, 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 and after all of this, he said to Thomas, he said, uh, 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 verse 27 of chapter 20 of John, he said, then said he to Thomas, reach hither thine finger and behold my hands, hallelujah, and reach hither thy hand and thrust it into my side and be not faithless, but believing. Good God Almighty. Now, again, I know I've told you all this, but I just got to say it at least 30 more times. Maybe one more tonight, but 30 more at least. Give me 30, okay? Hallelujah. This is so powerful because before this has been said, before this has been revealed, if you please, the name that they gave God, the name that God allowed them to give him, hallelujah, it meant, hallelujah, it meant uh, yud he hallelujah, hand, behold, a hand reveal, nail reveal, God Almighty. Long before this, that, look, 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 God in his infinite wisdom said, this boy, this boy gonna need some proof. Hallelujah. He's serious. No, 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 don't, please. I am not selling Thomas down the country. I got this from Bishop Bowers. I had never heard it like this before because most folk be dogging Thomas out. Oh, I'm faith for Thomas. Oh, this believing Thomas. Mm -hmm. yeah. I don't know how he got to be a disciple. There he was 
was with Jesus. Thomas said what the rest of them were thinking. Thomas was like, uh-uh. I done quit my wine business if he had one. Whatever business he had, I done give her everything. And this boy done up and died on me. Hallelujah. I just wasn't expecting him to up and die. He, he done raised the dead. I, all, I know all the stuff he can do. How could he die? What have I got myself into? Lord have mercy. Now I don't know nothing about him having a little girlfriend, but they put it in the movie, and it's nice. Praise the Lord. Amen. They, just, they, they gave him a little something, something. Hallelujah. I think they were trying to teach us that the disciples, you know, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. glory to God. They wanted to keep it straight about how it was supposed to be. I think that's good because the world doesn't messed up how it's supposed to be. Lord have mercy. If the world had that way, there wouldn't be no more. There wouldn't be no more people. We got a people shortage as it is. I'm going to talk to y'all about that. The world is, the, 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 the people, yeah, they're more dying than being born. Praise the Lord. Uh, amen. Because the world is trying to con control things. Glory to God. But God's going to have his way. Let me get on back to my business here. My business wasn't where he had a little girlfriend or not. Uh, that, that, that's cute. Praise the Lord. I'm glad that he did. I mean, I'm glad he had a girlfriend and not another kind of friend. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Did I say that? I think I did. Praise the Lord. So let's move on. But here's the point. He had the temerity, the audacity to say, all that I've been through, I ain't believing nothing else until I see it with my own self eyes. Now, now the wild thing about that is his own self eyes had seen more than he could understand anyway. You know what that teaches us? That teaches us no matter how much we see God do, we still must be connected to him in order for our faith to be renewed day by day. day he, he, he. Thomas is showing us that life brings circumstances to us that will cause us to miss the mark or not believe. Ooh, ooh. Paul, Paul, had to really, Paul had to really deal with this thing because when he wrote to the, the, to the saints in Galatia, he said, oh, you foolish Galatians, who has bewitched you? To be he didn't say, y'all ain't never got saved. I know you wasn't saved. That's why you're acting like. He didn't say that. He said, something has come in your life to make you act like you don't know who I am or who you are. Hallelujah. Some of us have been there. Glory to God. Uh, 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 everybody won't get there, but let me tell you, don't think that you won't get off your donkey if you don't keep your eyes on Jesus. You'll be just like Peter going down in the water. The boy was walking, hallelujah, but when he took his eyes off, glory to God. Yeah. Woo, hallelujah. Somebody say, thank you for keeping me afloat, Lord. Uh, thank you for keeping oh, me afloat. Glory to God. Let me see what they're saying on the Facebook. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Well, somebody said, right, Bishop. Okay, that's cool. I can't okay. see what none of the rest of y'all are saying. I know y'all are saying something. There they go. Hallelujah. All right. I, get this. I got some amens going on here. Hey, Sherry. Glory to God. Praise the Lord. Oh, Pastor Thornton. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. All right. Well, okay. We got some agreement going on. Now, that just excites me when you agree with me. Amen. Now, let me tell you something. When I'm wrong, I don't want you to agree with me. That ain't going to help nobody. If, if, if I be messing up something, you understand? Now, I'm not trying to do that, but, but, but please, you have the right. You, well, no, -uh. you have the responsibility. Oh, God. We have messed up authority in the body of Christ. Y'all, I feel the Holy Ghost right now. We, we have messed up authority. We have made authority uh, um, um, an, a, an escape button for error sometimes. Y'all, I believe in respect and all of that and honor. I, I try to give it, you, you, you know, I really do try hard. And I like to receive it. But there comes a point in time where a position or a situation does not allow you to be wrong and act like you ain't wrong. Uh, you, you can't use a position or authority to do what God does not want done. 
that causes a mess in the kingdom. That causes a mess in people's lives. Hallelujah. We should be grateful enough in God and humble enough in him, knowing it is in him that we live and move and have our being, so that if something comes down the pack where we have to say, well, you know what? I, I got it wrong. I'm sorry. Amen. But don't, don't. We would do so much better and be so much stronger. Woo, who said owned it? If we owned it. Own it. Take responsibility. Take responsibility. It's, it's like parents who won't own the way they raise their children. And then little Takamika Mashande slaps you side the head and all of that, and you wonder why the child slapped you. Probably it wasn't the first time. Because the first time she slapped you, it was so cute. And you told folk, child, she slapped me. Well, see, um, you understand. Some of us came from a time our face would still be like this. We'd be 40 years old. And, and our, our head would still be turned like this. They say, why don't you look this way? I'm doing the best I can. Say, so, you want to look this way? You have to turn your whole body around and turn. Some of us did time travel when we were growing up. <laughs> I know you don't know about that, Pastor Tuss, but some of us grew up and, and we did time travel. <laughs> we, we could not stay in the same time zone where stuff was going down. <laughs> We wouldn't even say, but the Lord allowed our minds to go somewhere else because our minds could not deal with what our bodies were going through. <laughs> oh, God, let me get back to the word. Somebody, somebody's upset because I done left the word. But, y'all, uh, this is all life. This is all life. I'm talking about the fact that the reality, the realness, the same way uh, Bishop Brooks was with us on Monday night, the same way. Thomas is saying, I want this proof. He said, I want this proof. But thank God he had the humility. Listen, he had the humility to recognize, look at the word that he said here. Oh, God. I went back to, to, to do the, 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 the tetragrammaton, you hey, vah hey, uh, you know, revealed hand, revealed nails. But look at what this boy said when, when, um, when he saw Jesus. The Bible does not tell us that he actually put his hand in the side or his hand in the nail. Jesus offered that he could do it, but there was something about being in his presence. Did you get it? That there was something about just being in his presence. He did not have to fulfill everything he thought he needed. I want you to get that in order for him to believe. Glory, 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 glory. There is something about being in the presence of God. It takes you into your future where you do not have to in your presence, ex present tense, experience everything you thought that you would have to experience in order for you to have faith in the future. Did you, did you, did you, did I say that right? When he saw him, his faith left there and went to where it would have been if he had believed in the past. Glory to God. Mm, mm, mm. When he saw him, his faith connected to where he thought he would be in the future because he saw him in the presence. Glory to God. In his presence, there is fullness of joy. In his presence, my God, there, 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 there is glory in his presence. He saw that and he made a declaration I don't believe that any of the other disciples had made. Maybe this declaration was also a revelation. He said, my Lord, my, 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 my Jehovah and my Adonai and my Elohim. Look, look at this. My Lord and my God. <laughs> he now knows that there is one. Woo. Do you see it? He, he, he now knows that there is one. He's looking at one and talking, as we would say, about two. 
but he's not talking about two. He's talking about the plurality of the one and the manifestation that the one can have in any situation he chooses. Good God Almighty. Good Lord. Huh? In, in, anyway, he's, he's now resolving the fact let me stop trying to figure this God out. Let me stop trying to limit him to my understanding, to my perception. Let me just break down and say, oh God, oh God, oh God. Sometimes or later in our lives with him, we will get to the place where we break down and just start going, oh God, oh God, oh God, oh God. Anybody been there beside me? Yeah. Oh God, oh God, oh God. You cannot understand it. You cannot comprehend it. But you are experiencing and you're glad that you are. So then you just reserve the fact, well, let me let my little two cent mind be two cents somewhere else. I just think I want to take all of this time and praise God now. I think I just want to jump down and, and just turn around and pick a bale of cotton in the name of Jesus. Glory to God. This is the declaration, this is the revelation, if you please, that this man has here when he sees Jesus without examining him. Lord, have mercy. Jesus comes back and says, well, read it with me if you're there. If not, I just read. Hallelujah. Now, the, the Lord is confirming his word. Now, I was talking because the Holy Ghost was giving me to say, I, I, don't, I, I, I didn't even realize this was coming next. Jesus said unto him, Thomas, because thou hast thou hast believed. Blessed are they that have not seen and yet believe. I told you he didn't examine him. He just saw him. To my knowledge, y'all, just to show you how important this is right now, I have never done this before. I have never said these things before. They all just coming up out the Holy Ghost. Somebody needs to see here the difference between seeing and believing and believing and seeing. Someone needs to understand that somebody here, somebody listening, somebody who will see this some other time. Understand that God is beyond seeing and believing and believing and seeing. God is just is. Hallelujah. My friend, uh, the late Bishop Monroe Sanders would say, this is the, il the isness of God. <laughs> or the thingness of a thing of a thing that God is, even though he's not a thing. But because we need to say something, sometimes we say that holy thing that is of you. Hallelujah. Um, but by the time he got through talking to the thing, I didn't know what the thing was. Praise the Lord. I was just, I was just all mesmerized. But uh, he done preached that message all over the convention center down there in New Orleans years ago. The word of God is so amazing. It doesn't matter how much we study it or how much we go over it and over it. Again, God is able to turn it for us. He's able to shift it. He's able to allow us to get more out of it. Just this little illustration here. When, when, when again, Jesus is on his way to breathe on them, to, to bring in a whole nother dimension, a whole nother dispensation, if you please, a whole nother way of worship, a whole nother way of, of, of them relating to him. But he takes this time. Glory to God. Uh, today on the, on, the, on the radio broadcast, um, 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 Dr. Stargill, and he's been here before, uh, he, he, he said something so profound. I'd heard it before, but I needed to be reminded of it. He said that um, he's teaching a, a class for, for leaders right now up in Columbus, and I think someone maybe asked him about love, or anyway, the subject of love came up, and he said that Bishop uh, Brooks showed us how much he loved us by spending two hours of time with us. He said, kids now spell love, T-I-M-E. 
That's how they spell love. And when he said it, boy, oh boy, there was so much condemnation on me, I wanted to get off the camera, praise the Lord. Because out of the things that I gave my kids, I did not give them time because I gave it here instead. I, they, they didn't get the time from me because the time was going here. Thank the Lord for my wife who gave, she was the one who took them to the games and all of that, you know. Thank God, thank God, thank God. Hallelujah. L let, me, let, me, let me tell you something. When he said that, I thought as busy as he is, that, that was a sacrifice. Now, I, I know it was God ordained, but many of us, mm, 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 ooh, God, many of us have missed, uh, this is something else Elder Stargo said, the, the appointment, he says when you miss your assignment, it becomes uh, like condemnation or it becomes guilt. A, no, he said a sentence. He said when you miss your appointments with God, it then becomes like a sentence because now you know that you were not where you were supposed to be or God wanted you to be and that sentence now starts playing out in your mind and in your spirit. Mm, mm, mm. When he was talking, it went back to me about people who say they love God and never give God any time. There was a member in this church right now, a very dear friend of mine, hallelujah, many years ago, 40-something years ago, I was trying to witness to him, and he was giving me his dossier, his curriculum vitae, uh, and all of that about, you know, all that he did in the community. Good guy, good guy, good family man, provider, you, you know, all of that. I, I don't think he's fooling around, shucking and jiving, or doing nothing like that. And, and he, uh, oh, he was, it was very impressive, you know. And he kept talking, and I do this, and da 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 da. And I said, Yes, and I'm going, like, Lord, you got to get me out of this. You, you know, cause, and, and he, he, he attended a, a, another a church and everything. And the Lord said, Ask him, what, how much time does he give me? And I said to him, I said, All right, that's wonderful. All the community stuff, yes, you teach, you. You know, people, you help them, you do this. You, I say, but how much time do you really give God? And the phone got silent. I say, how much time do you give God, man? He said, oh, my goodness. He said, well, I hadn't thought about that. I said, well, well God said to, to, just told me to ask you that. After a couple of sentences, you know what he said? Man, I need to get baptized. He said, I need a change. He, he could not reason what he was doing, even, listen to this, even in his church, that he was really giving God time. Do you know, whew, God, now don't, I don't, please don't let this mess up anybody. But do you know that you can be so regimented that you do things, even right things and good things, but in your mind you're not doing it as unto the Lord? I, I do know what that's like myself. You, 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 I, some folk are, 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 we're put together, we can be obligated. We can be dedicated. In other words, we're gonna do. We're gonna follow that letter. We're gonna. I, I was raised to do that. It's in me. If it wasn't in my DNA, my mama beat it in me. Praise the Lord, or somebody did. Hallelujah. To the point that when you ain't doing it, it'd be just knocking you down. You, you, you'd be suffering because <laughs> you know you ain't doing what you were told. Now they say, what? Well, I, I, I need to get a psychiatrist because I've been, uh, what's the word, abused? What's the word they use? Uh, I can, tra tra huh? Tra uh, yeah, you, you traumatized me as a child. Well, you know what? The, the, the whole communities were traumatized, you know. 
traumatized indeed. I, I want everyone to consider, and, and you, all, you all know that we, we, we deal with time here, we deal with Cronus, we, we deal with all the different kinds of time. But I want you to really consider now the time, your time that you do for the Lord, is it really for the Lord? Now, please don't say, well, you know what pastors say, for the Lord, well, you know, I, I, I be coming to church, and I don't know, sometimes my heart ain't, I ain't going to come no more. That is the dumbest thing you can think, praise the Lord. Just don't, don't do that. That, that, that. That's just taking you really far away. What I am saying is, when you are doing what you do, become present in the moment with it, and realize that it's really not about you, but about God. You can upgrade your activity. Good God Almighty, y'all, that's good. You, you, you can upgrade your activity to make it kingdom-oriented and kingdom-accepted by including God in the activity and knowing that it is in him that we live, move, and have our being. This is what is going on, really, you all. God is upgrading these disciples, hallelujah, when he's breathing on them, when he's coming back to them resurrected, when he's showing them a new dimension mentioned because even though they had been with him those three years and they had seen all of them all those miracles their lives had not been crystallized to accept the fact that they were going to do greater things than what he said they were still in a wishy-washy situation depending on the big man theory the, 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 the top man theory when the top man had said I'm pouring my, myself on you glory to God yes I am who I am but I want you now to become who you are to be. You cannot use the fact that I'm not here or I won't be here. Hallelujah. I am not immediately in your presence like that to cause you not to do what I told you I want you to do. I want you to get yourself in a place where you are so present with me. I don't know how much time uh, 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 I will spend on it, but I am trying to prepare something to, to give to you about this whole thing that the world is dealing with on human uh, uh, capital or intellectual capital, uh, and that is the development of people. The world is trying to solve its problems by developing people. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Well, that's not going to really work. That's only part of it, because the world is trying to develop people without developing them in God. They're trying to let self-efficacy and all of these things and, and being self-aware and knowing your limitations and knowing your strength and all of those things are important but unless you take all of those things and then yield them and lay them down at the foot of Jesus and then say, Lord, in you I live and move and have my being. Lord, I know who I am. I know my limitations but unless you help me, unless you direct me, glory to God. Huh? Huh? What, 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 did, what did Bishop Parsha say? Education without salvation is just information. And you need more than information just to turn this world around. Yes, we do need information. Hallelujah. I'm glad they brought up AI over on with Bishop Brooks because let me tell you, that can be a hot mess too. Glory to God. It can be a very deceiving thing even though it's wonderful. It can be a destructive mechanism. Hallelujah. You have to understand, you have to understand that even machines bow down to God. Glory, 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 glory. Yeah. They bow down. I don't know if it's Spencer was there that night, but there's still a few brothers who was here at, the, at, at Christ Hospital that night when the stuff was unplugged, but it was playing anyway. Hallelujah. The, mic, the, the, the amplifier. Glory to God. I guess I became an electric circuit. Glory to God. Because the, the, the keyboard wasn't working, and I unplugged it, and I was standing up there, and we were on the air, and the thing came on. And we all just went like, we, we were ready to go through, praise the Lord. I was like, what? Go through. Hallelujah. Let, 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 me, let, let me tell you. Oh, Lord, look at the time. Look at the time. Uh, I hope this has been helpful. I hope it has been helpful. Hallelujah. This has been helpful. He said that yet believe, that yet believe. Somebody say, I yet believe. 
And many other signs truly did Jesus in the presence. Everybody say presence. In the presence of his disciples, which are not written in this book. Woo! But these are written that ye might believe that Jesus is the, the, the Messiah, the Meshach, the anointed one. Glory to God. The Son of God. And, 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 and notice here the combination. Because again, Christos, hallelujah, Kyrios, Christos. Though that was a position, that was a title that people sought after, like trying to get a, 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 a trying to get a doctorate degree, okay? It was an attainment that folk got back then. They became Christ. But there was there were many, hallelujah, named Jesus. Glory to God. Hallelujah. And then if they were in authority, they were called lords. Glory to God. But there was only one Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Don't get it twisted. Glory to God. There was only one that came into the category. And the Bible says here, and that believing ye, that's everybody. Remember, ye means plural. Not the, hallelujah, but ye might have life, what? Through his name. He is now reestablishing woo, God and his name shall be called Wonderful Counselor, the Mighty God, the Everlasting Father, the Prince of Peace. His name. At his name every knee shall bow, every tongue shall confess of things in the earth. Things at his name. There is no other name given among men under heaven whereby must they, there's no other name given uh, uh, under heaven among men whereby they must be saved. He's now establishing this. Uh, uh, John is now writing about this. Hallelujah. And what it says, that he's written these things. Now, this is the other point that we need to make mm, while we still have time. And that is, he said that these other signs that he do, but they're not in the book, but these are written. Somebody say, these are written. That which is written is enough. He said, I, we have written enough you don't even know all that wonderful stuff. You don't even need to know it. You probably be falling on the floor, spitting and adding. He said, I've, I've sent you enough to save you. Oh, God. Woo. I've sent you enough to keep you. I've sent you enough. I've left you enough word to make a change in your life. I've left you enough. If you just do this, you don't even need the stuff that you don't know about. Lord, have mercy. Drop the mic. Did you hear that? You don't even need the stuff you don't know about. And I'm not against knowledge. I'm trying to prove another point here. He said, and I made it so simple that even a wayfaring man, which is like a fool, praise the Lord. Oh, thou art without excuse. We say, we, we say, well, 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 what does that all mean? Look at the world. Yes, look at it. The more the world moved away from Judeo-Christian principles. The more the world moves away from respect in families and authority, the more the world moves away from the teachings in you know, the worst it got. I don't know if it has been done, Jay, but I'm sure that we can take every heinous, abominable thing that's going on in the world right now and find a scriptural abandonment that if the scripture would have been in place or applied or you understand, implemented in the lives of the perpetrator that wouldn't have happened. You know, there was a remedy. 
especially for intentional things. That was a remedy for accidents too, but especially because intentional things mean that your will has been actively engaged in making a decision to go against the word of God. And woe to a nation who forgets their God. Woe to. <laughs> when, 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 when we left our doors open and windows up in our communities and stuff and really wasn't worried about it, it was because of the level of respect and the level of authority that pre permeated the atmosphere. It was because there were people, there were places that people held sacred and there were places where they just wouldn't do certain things. They would try to find some darkness somewhere. Whew. And the Bible even talks about that because that's what they love. Amen. They, they, but now folks have become brazen. Bold too, thank you, dear. And, 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 and right in your face, they don't smile in your face all the time. Want to take your place, backstabbers? Smile in your face all the time. They taking your place, heart stabbers. They don't even need your back. They just hit you anywhere the knife goes. Praise the Lord. Head, heart, hand. You know, long. You know, five foot knee. It is because of moving away from the word of God. We, we, we don't need to be um, let, let, me, let me try to say it this way and it's time for me to quit. When we look at what the disciples had to do and how they did, when we look at people like Thomas and, and Peter of course the leader and all that they went through and, and, and then when Paul comes on the scene what a man born in due season what you, you know God, the, the, the lesson in God using Paul, you all, is a tremendous lesson about being sensitive to the flow and the move of God. Remember, there was already an established order. And, 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 and they were accustomed to establish order because of the Levites. That is how it was supposed to go. Then there was the established order of the, uh, the apostles and the disciples. They had that experience. They were there to see and to walk and to talk with him. But God had to teach them a lesson about now following spirit. Mm -hmm. So he had to take someone. Now remember, he'd already used Peter who nobody would have chosen to be the leader. For the ones that weren't scared of him, the others were tired of him. <laughs> he has to now take someone, he has to now take someone who they would absolutely not believe with his murder and killing he wasn't a rapist or nothing. He, he, he was a purist, but you understand, he believed, and I'm talking about Paul now, he, he believed so strongly in what he believed that the boy would do anything. He had studied. He had practiced. Hallelujah. He wasn't perfect, but he wasn't playing either. Mm -mm. He had to take someone that they definitely would not have trusted, wanted to see coming or anything, and use him in ways that blew their mind. He had to say, I know what you think. I know what your protocol is. I know what your order is. But you still got to let me be God. We have hard times with that in the church of God right now. Letting God be God when he chooses to use someone does not meet our approval. I think I'll just stop right there. Hallelujah. 
It's hard, y'all. We be trying to figure it out and for all kind of reasons. Some of it's pride because we don't want to be wrong. Well, Lord, why, why didn't you tell me that was going to be crazy? He said, well, all y'all crazy, praise the Lord. Huh? Oh, Jesus, I just had a flashback, church. Y'all know pastoring and trying to lead people is really an amazing thing. I, I just had a flashback of an individual who came to me with great art because I had uh, not told them to do something that I really had told them not to do. They didn't listen. But then when they do it and something go they'll come back and still try to blame you for it. And, and everybody ever been there? You know, you, you did your best. You, they, didn't listen. they didn't hear you. They didn't think you were talking to them. And then they circle around the camp, hallelujah, after their wagon train and been ambushed by Cochise and the rest of them, praise the Lord. And here they come. Ta-da, 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 ta-da. I got all against you. You throw and so and so and you throw and so and so. And then they said, and you didn't tell me so and so and so was crazy. And I was just like Bishop Brooks. Before I knew it, I said, well, I don't know they were crazy, but I know you were crazy, and I told you so. Folk got so many ways they can push your buttons. They got so many ways. And, 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 and our issues, our problems, really is the fact that it is painful for us when we've tried so hard to help someone and all they will still want to do is find a scapegoat of someone to blame, including you. And that is why we are not God. Hallelujah. Because we like talk to the hand, talk to the foot, talk to the back of my head. You know? And God is saying, I finally got a place, and I finally got you in a place where I'm going to deal with you. I can help you now. I can help them now. I, I, I have my, my mercy. God looks at us as we're looking at them and says, guess what? And we say, what, Lord? And he says, they've just been graced. Yeah, it is. They've just been graced. They've just been graced. And then he allows us to look back over our lives and see all the times when we had just been graced. God bless you this evening. Father, in the name of Jesus, we... We thank you for your loving kindness. We thank you for the examples in your word of your power and your ability to keep us. Hallelujah. You love us so much. You love us so much. And God, we stress out over all kind of things. Oh, help us, God. But Lord, at the end of the day, at the end of it all, at the end of the day of even our lives, we are so grateful you have included us in this tremendous salvation. Lord, this salvation is so incredible that we cannot limit it to our understanding. Mm. Lord, we will do all that we know to do based on the word that we have. But Lord, we're not limiting you. We're not limiting your ability to save, to keep, to renew, to help, to strengthen, to what we know and understand. You are greater than that. Your kingdom is greater than that. But oh God, what we do know, what we do understand, help us to hold fast Help us to teach and to preach it. Help us to be the example of it. And God, help us to give you the time that's needed, oh God, so that we will be even more prepared to be a kingdom warrior for you. Hallelujah. And we give you great praise for it. In Jesus' name, amen, amen, amen. Thank you so much. Hallelujah. Let's give the Lord a hand praise. We have some announcements. Uh, Lady Trish, if you would, there were some things you had given me. Uh, uh, 
Pastor Nicole, uh, uh, if you all have announcements, I know that we have something very special coming on Sunday morning. Amen, amen, amen. Uh, if you'd come here, please. And uh, Oh, yeah, that's right. I was supposed to talk about them on the screen. Praise the Lord. But you can do it. Praise the Lord. The hour of power. Hallelujah. Lord, praise the Lord, everyone. Yes. Oh, give thanks unto the Lord, for he is good. Bible class on this evening. Amen. Amen. So much confirmation. Hallelujah. But that's how God does it, right? Amen. So our announcements, um, we need workers um, to volunteer for the nursery on Sunday morning. So if you got some time, help the nursery. Yeah, we got a bunch time. of time. Yes, yes. Also, we are relaunching our hour of power, our morning manna. Amen. We already are booked up until July. So we still got four more months in this, in this year. Sign up. It'll be on the second and the fourth Sunday of each month. We have um, Pastor Maurice Henderson that will be our speaker on this Sunday and um, Minister Renata Jackson on the 28th. So please, please support that. Also, if you have not done so yet, sign up in the back to, um, for, to join us for the movement night with the ministers. We need to get a head count, so if you can sign up, um, the last day for the sign up will be this Sunday, only because we need a uh, count. So please sign your kids up, your grandkids up, and even yourself. Come out and, and join us in the, um, the movie night with the ministers, and also our um, ministers are having their um, food drive. So if you have any box goods, please bring them and drop them off in the blue um, canisters out there, and please make sure they are up to date. We've been getting a lot of stuff, but it's not up to date, so we have to throw it away. So please keep those things in mind. Pastor uh, yes, the, the, the count for the movie, you all, is for free food. Uh, the church is going to be providing some free food. We just want to make sure that we have, a, have provided enough. There will, be, there will be a food truck here that's not free. You cannot walk up to the food truck and say, in the name of Greater Emmanuel and Pastor Daniel. You will not get anything off the truck. Amen. Also, I think Pastor Janet is going to be serving wings or selling wings. The, but we will have free food. So, so, so you can come. You can get the free, but we just need a count. Praise the Lord. Amen. Amen. So, so please help us by signing up for that. Uh, I believe that's all. Please join us on Sunday morning. Amen. Please give uh, to Greater Emmanuel. Your speaker Sunday morning will be Pastor Trish. Praise the Lord. Pray for her. <laughs> amen, amen, amen. And on next Wednesday, even though I will be back, uh, we will have a special Bible class teacher. Amen. And that is Suffragan Bishop-elect Raymond Lloyd. That's our cousin from Springfield, Ohio. Uh, he's district elder now, but he's being elevated, a uh, suffragan bishop in the, oh my goodness, it's a foreign council. Costa Rica country council, state council, well, it's country uh, council in Costa Rica. That, Costa Rica, that is where um, uh, the dinosaurs are. I'm, I'm sorry. <laughs> Join us each Sunday morning at 9.30 a.m. for Sunday School for our children, our teens, and adults. Please come 9.30 a.m. for breakfast, and then we will go to our Sunday School classes. And children, guess what? Right after Sunday School, we have an exciting children's church for you, ages 5 through 10. Sunday morning worship experience, 11 o'clock a.m. We're encouraging you to please join and come to the sanctuary. But if you're unable, you can view via Facebook Live or YouTube. On YouTube, it's simply Emmanuel Broadcast. On Facebook, our Facebook page is Greater Emmanuel Apostolic Temple. Come out and join us as we give God the praise. On Monday, join yours truly, Pastor Trish, for my Motivational Monday Moment, where I take just a few moments and together we talk about the exciting Word of God. 
on Wednesday, we have the broadcast of our pastor on your way home, Wednesday, 5 o'clock p.m. via Facebook Live. Join us 7 o'clock p.m. for our weekly Bible class. Again, we invite you to come physically to the house of God, or you may join us virtually via Facebook Live or YouTube. And then on Thursday, join Bishop Daniel again for his broadcast, Oh, Taste and See, every Thursday, 11 o'clock a.m. again via Facebook Live or YouTube. Our Sunrise Prayer on Saturdays, 7 o'clock a.m. until 8 o'clock a.m. via our church conference call line. We know that the effectual, fervent prayer of the righteous of months. Oh my goodness, what a time we had in our service. Listen, I'm so glad that you joined us for the Emmanuel experience. And what an experience oh, it was. Oh my God, I am so excited. And I want you to be blessed this week. Remember the words and remember the songs and the ministry today. Let it bless you all week. What do you think, Pastor? I think that's wonderful. And remember, as your mom used to say, let your heart sing all week long. And let God bless you and your family. Join us again. It will bless you, bless you, bless you. God bless.